Okay, once again, complete stuck on a never ending loading screen. Hello everyone and welcome to Emperor and Galactic Survival. I'm your host, 2005 Guy 2 Okay, so this is the first time I'm showing it in on this channel. Uh, granted, I have actually been playing Emperor and Galactic Survival since the very early days of pre-alpha, uh, up to current. There are a couple of things that I haven't done in the current game, and that is regarding CPUs. Um, but we can get into that uh, later on when we actually get into starting the game. Okay, so just for people that are new to the game and are also new to this channel, uh, what I'll be doing first thing, and it's, it's only going to be for this season, is I'm going to be switching on the tut tutorials and then we're going to go through them step by step and see what points that they the developers have actually left out of the tutorials that may have come in quite handy if they were there. Um, I've hit those snags once or twice before with tutorials, not just in this game, but other games as well, where they've left out various key bits of information. Um, and then basically, instead of continuing the work on the tutorials, they went straight to full release. Now, at the moment, Emperor and Galactic Survival is still early access. It's still in alpha. It's not beta yet. Uh, and it's definitely not released yet. Uh, unfortunately, what I've noticed with a couple of um, uh, a couple of games, the developers have gone straight from early access, basically straight from alpha stage, bypass the beta phase, and go straight to full release. And you're going, no oh, minute, the game is not complete yet. Why the hell have you released it? So we're going to go through the uh, the tutorial step by step. There may be a couple of key points that I might skip uh, because they're not all that necessary. But because we're going to go straight through the tutorial, we're going to keep the game for the moment on easy. Um, but that's only for this, this one, maybe two episodes. Uh, and then basically after that, we're going to just go straight in full whack, um, no less than medium setting and we'll see from there. So let's start up a game. Um, what I probably should do is delete all of these. Uh, so I'll quickly do that off on the um, my desktop. Uh, so if, if we quickly go back out of this, we can uh, quickly go into the folder, if I bring it across. So to get to the uh, to save games, if you want to delete them really quickly, what you do is you open up the game. Yes, we will be going through all of these games on not only this channel, but the upcoming channels for all the different genres. Um, there is Empyrean, I've gone past it. Empyrean Galactic Survival, save games. Um, we want to keep the blueprints. So at the moment, these are all the saves. Uh, I've got a couple of test worlds for building, but they are now expired. Um, that one is from the previous channel, went all the way up to season 18. So you can see that I've uh, been doing it for quite a while. Um, because those test worlds are no use anymore, let's just delete the whole lot. And uh, as you can see, those uh, folders do contain quite a lot of uh, information. So let's uh, empty my bin. So I've got more hard drive space. And there we go. Okay, so let's start up a single game. Survival. Come on, survival. Uh, we want to make it seed zero because we're starting from scratch. Um, so this will be uh alpha 11 um season 
I say double zero. Um, then it will be seed zero. And then I always do that just in case I make a screw up somewhere down the line. Okay, so it's seed zero. And we want to set it to easy for the moment. Uh, this one I will definitely keep as false for the moment. I will probably always keep that one false because I don't like it. Um, I don't like limitations at all. Um, Loops, prints, born limitation. Yeah, I, I don't like, like I said, I don't like limitations. Um, fast, that's fine. Actually, I'll change that to normal. Normal. Um, let's keep that one normal, actually. Equipment. Food consumption. Actually, let's keep those on normal, too. Um, temperature, let's, let's keep that normal. Uh, auto depletion, yeah, sure, why not? I, I never use them anyway. Okay, so we've got the choice of a, a breathable atmosphere or um, a non breathable atmosphere, and start with a breath breathable atmosphere and a base, but uh, no tutorial. But like I said, in this very first one or two episodes, we're going to go through the tutorial step by step. So let's start it up. Granted, it's not completely easy anymore. <laughs> Come on, always takes a while to load up. There we go. Now we can control the craft and we can also hit Alt and look as to what else is in the area. I don't see anything at the moment. It's a little bit of a problem, maybe. There might be a POI way over there by a bit, but uh, I don't see any others, which is uh, a bit of a shame. But seeing that there's other things in that direction that we want to, let's head in that direction. No, it's not good there. It could actually be the starting POI. Okay. Come on, give us the option. Okay, so a lot of people tend to do skip, where I usually do let's go because it gives us that little bit of an indication of where the first large POI is and where the Titan parts are. Although the Titan has changed quite a few times over the years. Oops, I've got wrong keys. Okay, so let's quickly grab that, that uh, those two bottles of water. These little guys here are very uh, scared of us all the time and they are non hostile. Uh, that's food. We have to open our PDA first, so let's quickly do that. Okay, so it says greetings commander, and I'll let you guys read that. I'm terrible at reading things out loud because I tend to screw up quite a lot. Uh, and it basically after the tutorial we get 500 experience points and 10 upgrade points. Uh, log file, uh, we can log files, we can if we want to skip it, we can just click there and it will go skip it and go to the next one. So we want to exit for the moment so it can uh, catch up and uh, do it as usual. Okay, open inventory. Uh, and now we want to move things across. And we can also, uh, it says that uh, we, uh, we have to eat a bar and Waste a health pack. Bear in mind our health is not that bad. Uh, perish time on the food is currently 120 minutes roughly and it gives us 80 foods. So let's do that. Um, let's put these ones on our hot bar. And where it says use a heal healing one, I want to skip that one because I want to keep those. Um, shelter because we don't have uh, 
any way to uh, protect themselves at night. Um, or scanner, uh, flashlight. We will probably need the flashlight later, just so that we can see in the dark. Let's move that over there, actually. Hmm. Okay. I never use the heaters, so they're actually a waste. Okay, moving on. So let's get our weapon. Uh, ooh, let's quickly skip that piece. So food, skip. Yes. Okay, so next up. Uh, well, the one that we want to get resource drill. Uh, okay, so select a survival tool, which we have. Uh, mine and pick up five rocks. There we go, we've got five crushed stone. Come on. Harvest and craft energy bar. Well, we've already harvested, uh, but we can already craft an uh, um, energy bar. So if we click over here, we've got our stats. And if we click to, click on this one, we open up the, let's say, survival constructor, which is somewhere on our suit. I have no idea where. where. Uh, I can't move our character, so I can't see what's on our back. But uh, over here, we can make an emergency O2, but it requires one purified water, which is this one here, uh, which I would say is a complete waste. But we can create some food, so let's do that. That will probably give us, it might give us that, even though we've, sorry, haven't um, picked up anything while that part of the tutorial was going on. Oops, come on, resource drill. Let's quickly pick up these, and then uh, once we find another one, we can uh, go that a bit further. Maybe it would... Ah, oh, there we go. There's some. There we go. Now, we do have to watch out with our um, stamina, because uh, it get, can get depleted quite quickly. Ooh. There's some uh, silicon there. Nice. Normally silicon, well, normally the, all three components are not that that uh, close to the starting point, so that's actually a first. Okay, so open up the map. And then we have to go over there, which is probably the one that we were looking at before. Yeah, probably was. Uh, oh no, we are... Uh, I think it is the one that we were looking at when we were coming in for a land landing because the escape port does have a t tendency to um, flip a couple of times. I know, yeah, it's definitely pointing that way. Never mind, I stand corrected. It was the one that we were actually looking at. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, damn it, it's gone for a small planet. I wanted to do a large planet. Because now we're going to hit all the, uh, the POIs too quickly. Oh well. Live and learn. Have to watch out for these type of creatures because sometimes they can be okay, but if you get too close, they start becoming quite hostile. If you see them do that, they're going to become hostile. So it's better to just kill them. Okay, shift and um, pick up button. In my case, shift enter. In your case will probably be shift E in order to pick up things fast. I was just going to run away. Now, sometimes the others can actually get wholesale if we take out uh, one of them. So, for example, if, I, if we find our alpha and we take out the alpha, the other ones will come running. That's only level two. See, he did the uh, the movement, and now he's following us. So that means time for that one to die. Okay, looks like that one over there might have been the alpha. 
Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, so we need to go to the signal over there. I do want to get a couple more resources beforehand, so let's quickly do that bit as a time lapse. Okay, so let's have a look inside. Let's close that door just in case. Um, looks like it is completely sealed, which is nice. Um, don't need that sensor there. At least not that I'm aware of. It could be for the door, but it could be something else as well. We definitely don't need that because that's a waste of uh, power consumption. Okay, so it wants us to grab uh, items from the personal storage, which is this one. Oh, there's a the door at the back. Okay, so that goes to the core, the solar capacitor, and the oxygen tank. Nice, nice. Um, okay, so here we've got a base starter kit, and we have a couple main resources, which is nice because that brings the silicon up a little bit. Um, and we've got some purified water, some plant fiber, and some plants that we could grow, but I'm not sure if they they would grow or die outside. I'm not not completely sure. So let's leave the rest of that in there for the moment. There is this little arrow here, and that's basically the grab all button. Um, let's have a little look how we're doing in here. We've got a couple more of those. Can't make any more. That's a shame. Okay, so what does it want us to do now? Uh, unlock, uh, craft, and place a portable constructor. Okay, so it doesn't say what we have to press to do that. So that is F3, I believe. 
Yep. S3 brings up the tech tree. So what we can do here is we can unlock various items from the tech tree. Um, normally I would st tend to start with the weapons um, and then the miscellaneous, but because we need the portal constructor, we have to unlock that first. So number f uh, that one to do the portal constructor. Is there anything else in here that we might want? And the answer is no, not at the moment. So let's go for weapons and unlock, unlock the shotgun and the assault rifle. The one that we really would like at the moment is light armor. But I believe that we can get that through completing one of the missions anyway. Um, let's see, any tools that we can unlock? There's the multi-tool, but there's nothing that we can actually do with that until we get the charges. And the charges, let's face it, we can't make those yet because we need promethium. Uh, promethium can only be found in the radioactive areas, well, mostly. Um, or that there could be a couple of other places here and there, uh, but they usually play a faction of some sorts. Uh, the portable light would definitely come in handy, uh, preferably that one. Um, but uh, let's see what else it wants us to do now. So it wants us to craft the portable constructor. Now, what it didn't say to get the materials to do the portable constructor is have us gather the materials before this part so that they've actually skipped that whole section. So they've skipped the bit for F3 and they've also skipped the bit saying you need to gather the resources before you can craft the constructor. And it basically doesn't go into that type of detail as in you need to pick up the resources like we were doing in the time lapse. Uh, and then basically keep them on your on your person. Of course, it, they probably meant to get it out of there first and then do it. But it would have been better if they put the gather resources before unlock the uh, portable constructor. Um, I I can see it through their ways as well. So it's a case of just grab the bits from the box and then do the rest of it later. But if you're on route. You might as well pick them all up. Okay, so let's go to our survival constructor. Uh, this one is the portable constructor, so let's do that one. Um, now, if we ever have to uh, skip the night and we don't have a tent on us, we can create, uh, create a tent using tin plant fiber. Granted, trying to find them in the dark, pretty hard. Um, and then basically put the, uh, the, the tent down and skip the night. But because we're at this POI, there is a double bed there. We can select the double bed or click on the double bed and we can basically skip the night. But uh, at the moment, it's going to take roughly about five minutes uh, before it's night time. I mean, five real time minutes. In the game, it's 2.35 hours. Um, but. Uh, yeah, they're hours, so it's basically a couple of minutes for us. Okay, so it's now finished. So let's place the portable constructor. I tend to put it quite close to the slope so that if we have to uh, get to it from uh, up top, we can. At least I tend to put, yeah, oops. Um, so, okay, confirm mission and protocol. Basic exploration activ uh, activation. Sure, why not? Um, okay, so uh, let's put these ones in here. So they're out of our hair, figuratively speaking. Granted, that we can't do anything with the uh, the eggs or the natural sweetener in here, um, but we can with the uh, spices and the meat. We can make some salami which has got a shelf life of 166 seconds, sorry, 166 minutes, um, where the plant protein, which we've run out of, uh, 
gives us the energy bar which is about 120 minutes. Now if you want to heal yourself really quickly, um, there are a couple food types that you can make that have got a fair bit of health that you can claim back. Um, so let's see. For example, the uh, vegetable juice gives us 50 health uh, and a boost of 5 stamina, but it lowers our body temperature by 3 degrees. The fruit one does the same, although it gives us better stamina. And the perish time is shorter as well. The uh, berry juice gives us 25 stamina. So if we're running out of stamina quite fast, we're trying to get away from somebody, then you want to be drinking a berry juice. But the perish time is quite bad on that too. And the health benefits, it gives us 90 health. So if we look for a couple berries, that would definitely be uh, something. Uh, okay, so it wants us to craft a motorbike. Now normally what, you'd, uh, what you used to do is use the oars uh, to craft ingots. Then those ingots you'd craft into components. And then you'd be able to create the motorbike kit, uh, which is this one here. Uh, and then you'd be able to create the motorbike. Um, now, luckily enough, over the last year or so, they've shortened that down a bit. You can now click on the bike, and then the constructor will make the components for you. So you don't have to go through that tedious task of converting every, uh, every ore that you've got into, um, sorry, into ingots and then from those ingots into components, and then from those components into whatever you want to build. Uh, so that's quite nice. I, I do like that. That was always a plus when that one came in. Now what I'm currently doing is keeping an eye out for spiders because they do like to pounce on you when you're at the big POIs. And uh, especially seeing that the sun is about to set. Now, this POI should have at least one solar panel. Yep, there it is, one big one. Uh, we should be able to create some smaller solar panels. Um, let's have a quick peek. Yes, we can create a couple, but they do require quite a few resources. The one thing that we do want to do quickly is get one of those going as well. Um, and then turn those logs into plant fiber and a plant fiber then into uh, fuel because these things run on fuel. So we're going to divert from the um, the, the uh, tutorial just a little bit and just need to make a couple of these. So shift click, uh, shift click makes ten. Uh, um, sorry, control click, uh, left click gives us the maximum that we can create of that item. Now, uh, granted, there is no way in hell we, we, we can create uh, up to roughly 200 using eight logs. We'd have to have quite a lot more logs. But I would do that personally off of camera because, let's face it, going after lots of trees with this tool, boring. Extremely, extremely boring and takes a couple of in game days. Okay, so let's grab the bike. Let's grab that. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a cut here and I shall, shall see you guys once it's dark so I can show you guys what I mean with using the bed or the tent to skip the night. There we go, it's now night time and I've left the uh, constructor basically uh, constructing fuel. Uh, the next part of the tutorial is to craft a weapon and a detector. Like I said, it's still skipping that one bit where we unlock the weapon. So let's go to skip the night. Okay, it's now morning. So let's go outside. Let's put the torch away so we can uh, basically use the gun if need be. Okay, so we have to craft a weapon next. So again, that was F3 to get to the weapons. Uh, and it wants to also auto create a detector, 
Well, the detector is already unlocked, so you don't have to do that. But the weapon, you'd have to unlock the weapon. And once again, it didn't say anything about unlocking the weapon before. Oops, and I just clicked on unlock when that's, uh, there was nothing selected. Okay, so let's see, we need to craft the weapon. So let's go for, let's put those back in because we're going to need those now. There is a reason why I kept those ones to one side just in case. And it's not just purely for the bandages, which we might need. Uh, but it's also for the ammunition. The ammunition requires nitrocellulous, or whatever, how the hell you pronounce it. Uh, and that basically is this one here, which basically requires plant fiber. So it was a good thing not to have the plant fiber in here overnight while I was making the, the biofuel. So now we've got the plant fiber back. We now need to create a, hmm, where is it? Detector. It would probably recommend a pistol, maybe the chainsaw. I would say skip the pistol, go for the uh, shotgun. The range on the shotgun may be crap. Um, but at the moment, it's probably going to be the best bet for survival. Um, but looking at that, we probably need to get, going to have to grab some more copper. So what I might do is I might quickly grab some resources off camera, and I shall see you guys back in the next morning uh, once we've got uh, quite a lot of ammunition and uh, weapons to choose from. Okay, so if you ever find yourselves in a swamp and you see these eyeball looking things, these are actually the vegetables. So let's see if we can make some of those drinks now. Looks like we can. We can make three. Uh, and then let's go for a couple more bandages just in case. I don't think we'll be able to make a hundred, but uh, let's see. We've also got a couple of mushrooms. Also got some milk from the um, from the nasty looking fellows over there somewhere. Also, the um, swamp area is really good for uh, silicon. Let's see how much silicon do we have now. I was thinking that we are in the water area. I guess what we could do is put that one down, have it collecting water for us. But we need to go back to somewhere that's closer to there. So maybe here. So we've put down a wave waypoint. Uh, let's make it that one. We'll move forward on approach. Uh, that's similar to what I've done with Hongo, so that we don't lose the, uh, the starting base. And I find that if you hit the rocks from a distance, uh, one won't wind up disappearing into the ground. Hello, I want your milk. Nice. Oh, so much like an. Nice. And um, some grain. Oh, they're also quite handy. Herbs. That will allow us to do something else later. Okay, it looks like it's about to go down again. So what I'll do is I'll cut here and I shall see you guys in the morning when we can go to that unknown structure. St sorry, structure. Actually, scratch that. I was going to show you guys. Oop, definitely want to pick that up. I know it, I know it spoils. Does it spoil? Yeah, it does. Um, we can't really use it now, but we can use its spoilage to make nutrient solution later. And quite frankly, you do want to pick up everything that you find. Not to mention, kill everything that you find as well. I'll pick those ones up later. Let's just quickly make our way to uh, that marker over there. So that we can place everything down. 
Now the herbs come in quite handy for making uh, anti-venom and various other materials which we may require later on. Now this area is very good in resources. Definitely need to come back to this little section later. And that's a slow way of doing things, but when we get a better drill, then it'd probably be a lot better. Makes things to pick up a lot faster. Okay, so this would definitely be the better option. Now, at the moment, we don't have a suit on, so we can't breathe underwater. But if you have a weapon on you, and you do go into the water, please note that you will sink like a, like a hammer and you can't swim while you've got the hammer, uh, sorry, while you've got the uh, weapon out. But if you take the weapon out and go in, you should be able to just swim. However, I wouldn't really recommend swimming unless you've got um, a suit on and you've got couple of decent weapons, bearing in mind that the weapons do not work underwater. They used to, but they don't anymore. What's that? Uh, I already picked it. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to plant that, uh, that thing down. So in order to jump far, you basically hold down shift and you basically jump. Uh, and go forward as well, of course. So let's put that one in our bar. Put it in the water. Fill it up with fuel and it will start producing bottles of water as well as um, big uh, boxes of water, which we can turn later on into jars of water. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly head back to base and I shall see you guys in the next morning. There we go, and it's the next morning, and it looks quite nasty out there. <laughs> now, one thing I have noticed is when it's morning, those pesky red bugs are out. That's a bit heat-seeking spit. Um, so we do have to watch out for those guys on the way down there. Uh, let's see. Should still be right then. Okay, so we've got the detector. Oh, I've got to put those off. Uh, let's put some backup weapons in here for the moment. Okay. What I should have done was move those over there, that one over there. Actually, that way around. So let's face it, that's primarily to heal us at the moment. <laughs> Gives us 50 health back. Okay, so let's get the... Wait a minute. Why are those trees there? I guess one I got rid of all the trees in this area. Never mind, maybe some trees do grow back after a while. Okay, didn't know that. Okay, that's said. Let's hurt off to the POI. What was that? Copper. Okay. So there's a unknown structure ahead. So for those of us who have played this game quite a few times, we all know what the un unknown structure is. If we go in it, there's a big chance that we could get heavily injured if we're not careful. Uh, nice little POI here. What do you have for us? A multi tool, which we can't. Well, actually, if they come out of these ones, they do have some bits and pieces in them, so that could actually come in quite handy. I'll just put this one here, we can eat from our inventory anyway. So if we go on it, it says it's got 250 charge. So we could actually remove this entire POI and gather its uh, resources. Or we could just leave it here until next time, Alan. Do it when we, when we get the better multi-tool. Um, 
Okay, so going off in that direction. And of course, I want to make sure that we've got the weapon selected. And let's head off. It could take a little while before we get there, but who knows, something else might pop up on the route. Although, judging by the detector, it won't be a POI. avoid those because otherwise we won't be able to go fast. Now there, there is a way that we can sort of increase the speed of the bike. I'm not sure if it's a superficial speed or if it's an actual speed. And it's by doing a wheelie. But you have to be on a max speed, probably downhill, um, and basically hit the jump button. There we go. See, I'm not sure if that's really uh, going faster or not. Oh, we're in Raptor Country now. Nice. thing we could do is down here we can get some nice uh, bits and pieces uh, like more vegetables sometimes we can also find vegetable uh, sorry fruit trees but I think that's just purely on the other planet uh, we can grab these things uh, which can be used for um, more medical supplies Okay, there we go. We've got some close enough for it, so it's seen that, so we can do the next one. Um, that's all. Okay, should be at HV, right? How much stuff do we currently have on us? That's right. So I'm going to grab the goodies that are in the unknown structure. Okay, so which side is the front? I think this one. Okay, yeah, definitely you want to create a hover vessel. Actually, what do we get when we finish creating the hover vessel? A thousand points, 20 upgrade points. Not bad. Okay. First things first, though. Hello, Nightmare. Oh, that went better than usual. Maybe it's because... I already ex uh, expected them. And uh, they're not disappearing like the last time I played. I wonder where their spawn points are. Okay, we've got Estrium, Xeon Steel, Fusion Cells, and a medical device. Definitely like the fact that we've got Fusion Cells. And that's the only thing in here. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to Hongo and make the um, uh, hover vessel starting block, the generator, and all the other bits that we need to make a hover vessel. And what I'll do is I'll cut here and I shall see you guys back at base. Okay, well, doing a little bit more exploration on the way back, found another PY, and we have detox and stomach pills. That will come in handy. Okay, very nice. Let's see, any more POAs? That would be nice. Um, they're probably going to be here, looking at it. There should be another, maybe one or two POAs down here. Strange that I haven't found any down here yet. So we've got the tavern over there. We have Xerax down there. We have Xerax up there. I haven't, set, haven't found the Polaris yet, but they could be on the other side of the planet. 
Okay, let's head back. Okay, found another small rack, and we've got some really bad weather. Oh, only an energy pill. That's not great. Oh well. Let's continue back. Strange I haven't found any berry bushes at all yet. There we go, so all that stuff is now over there, so let's put that there. Okay, as you guys can see, I've done a little bit of um, <clears throat> harvesting. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I've made, already put them across, so that's fine. Okay, that should be everything in there. Okay, so what do we... Did we have to do? We had to create a starter, a cockpit, three pulses, three engines of it, um, generator, fuel tank. Hmm. We're not going to be able to get much out of a craft out of that, but let's do it anyway. So one of those, three of those, um, a set of four of this so we can actually see what we're doing. One fuel tank, one generator, and that was everything, right? Mm. It's not my ideal type of hovercraft, having those ones. Uh, ideally, I'd like to have an uh, armor locker so that we can add armor and um, be a little bit more protected for what's to come. Uh, rather have the normal engines and thrusters, of course. And it sounds like we've got another pest on its way over here. Okay. So let's put all that stuff in here. Ah, looks like that's still at it. Let's take those off. Um, okay. Oh, that's not the construction queue. That one is. Okay, so put all that stuff in here. Oh no, not another one. Where? Okay. So we've got plenty of fuel, we have some milk, um, got some more fuel, definitely want to add that to this base, this is a temporary thing. Okay, so let's make some food as well, um, actually let's make some other bits, herbal leaves, plant protein and that will help against radiation burn, which, knowing I like at the moment, we will probably need that. Uh, against burn, frostbite, open wounds, like to have a minimum of three of those. Sorry, minimum five. Poisonous bite and parasite. Let's go for ten of those. Um, stomach pills, let's do another three. Radiation, parasites, intoxication. Hmm. Narcosis, open wound. Probably ten of those then. I don't think we'll be able to make that much, but let's try. No, we, we've only got one, one alien tooth, so yeah, we can only make one of those. And then what else left over? Bandages. So we can also sell them if we've got too much. Okay, so night time is coming, so let's go in the, uh, the building. Let's see if we can put this down, which it looks like we can't. There's not enough space. Damn it. Okay, so let's plonk it on the outside of it, if we can. Um, hmm. That will have to do then. Okay. 
Granted, um, we haven't turned it on yet. What I probably should do is make some solar panels as well. Oh, yeah, of course, make the other thing, uh, that one. Uh, let's also make some concrete blocks. Let's make about. Let's go for 500. I don't know if we can make that much. I think we can. Um, other thing to do fridge. Actually, let's take those out. Fridge. Uh, 14 of those solar panels. So the maximum is 15, and we've got one up top, so that will include that one, I think. Um, could, could make another solar panel, but sorry, solar battery, but I don't think it's going to help. Um, let's get those arm lockers going so that we can add some more armor to, our, to, to ourselves as well. Uh, oh, pistol! Number two. Rocket launcher, pulse rifle, sniper rifle, yes. Assault rifle, explosives, and light armor. Uh, anything else? Not really. Um, we could do the most so also if that we, if we, in the slim chance that we're going to find Prometheum, we can make some of the, uh, Charges for that. Might as well unlock the drill as well. Let's do the bits for the hub vessel. Be, I say the bare minimum that we want to do. Ooh. Oh yeah, um, we kept those off, didn't we? So we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Uh, ooh, why? We'd have to have a normal constructor to do that, so we can't really do it at the moment. Same with those ones, the, the shields. Uh, sorry, we have a pest nearby. Oh, uh, those red bugs are really not good. Okay, that one I'm not really so worried about, but those ones that were glowing red, yeah, they're not all that uh, fun to be around. Okay, so clone chamber. Oops. Uh, let's see, we want film of, I would say, of those, two of those, probably two generators, two of those, two of those, four of those, a minimum two lights, there we go, portable lights, one of those, one of those, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's not going to bug us anymore. Um, what else? Uh, thrusters, we're going to need thrusters. That should give us 12. Let's go for an additional 12 just be on the safe side, and then that probably be overkill for the start of it. Okay, now it's not going to make all of this overnight, but it's going to make a good dent into it for us. Okay. Where is it? Okay. Uh, Block. Another hub vessel. 
So we can make a basic one. We can upgrade the basic one if we really want to, or we could just make another one. Okay, so let's sleep the night away. There we go. Okay, let's see what has been crafted and what hasn't been. So, so far we've got a fair few items that have already been crafted. Very nice. Um, it's going to take a while to get all the others. But we also need to get some blocks going as well. So let's say steel. We should have enough metal for that at the moment. We get pretty much every block in sight. Um, let's say about 200 is probably going to be overkill. Let's say 100. Um, concrete blocks. About 500 should be enough for those. Uh, windows. Probably. I'm not sure if 50 is going to be enough for what I'm planning to do. Then we're going to get some wood blocks as well. Let's go for 200 wood blocks. Okay, that should be right for a base. Let's see how that looks cutting. Oh, quite a lot of stuff has expired. Uh, Pairs time three minutes gives us ten health and twenty seven food. Let's have one. Oh, we did actually ma manage to make ten of those. Just not much in a way of bandages. Okay, so let's put this uh, thing together. Oh, I just ate it when I didn't want to eat it. That's got 31 minutes left on it. Okay, uh, block. Um, let's put that on there as well. Okay. Do those ones actually before the cockpit. Okay. So see that V on the top? That means that that's the uh, the front of the other vessel. It'll be the same with the um, small vessel and the capital uh, vessel. Okay. So let's put that one there. Let's put that one there and that one there. Now the problem is to keep everything the even. Uh, even weight, uh, front, back, left, and right. So let's put that there, that there, even though it's going to irradiate the back end of the, uh, the vessel. I'm not sure if I put that complete right. I probably should have put that one somewhere else. Screw it. Okay. It's probably going to be nose heavy, no my luck. Okay. Uh, now we need to get fuel, which I haven't been making additional. We do have a fair bit of it on us at the moment. Let's put at least 50 away in here so we don't have to uh, worry too much about it. Let's keep that one, let's keep that one for the moment as well. Um, okay, so we want to put that back over there. We want to keep those for later on. Don't think we're going to need those. Parasite, radiation. do that and just in case now, ideally I'd rather have um, 
different rifle and I really don't want those bugs about because we are going to get hurt if we take those on. Screw it, let's get rid of them. You now see why I don't like these bugs. So it's going to shoot at us and it's going to be able to hit us even though we move away from its bit. That's weird. It hasn't shot at us yet. Hmm, have they changed it so that it will only shoot us if we shoot it? Interesting. But it's now following us anyway. Where is it? That's weird. Okay, so they've changed, uh, turned down the hostility of those bugs. Nice. Okay, in that case we don't have to worry about that bloody bug. But we do want the mushrooms. Okay. Now it is full on us. Okay. So let's jump in here. Uh, and... Go to fuel management, drop in the 25 fuel that we've got. Um, we can keep that for later on. Oh, I forgot to drop those off. Okay, it's back over there. Let's put those alien blocks in here. Now one thing that is nice is that the vehicles do tend to protect us against radiation, albeit I'm not sure how much radiation it can withstand, bearing in mind that we don't have a suit on. So before it gets too bad, let's hit the power button. And where does it want us to go? Oh, now it's doing the, ba the base one. Um, let's do let's go, but skip it because I'll show you, show you guys that one once we're ready for it. Uh, so find ores, now it actually goes about doing that. So let's say, yes, we found the ores. I wonder, does it give us, uh, yeah, it gives us some points and some upgrade points. Um, chainsaw, I wouldn't bother with it. Uh, build starter shelter basically it means create a uh, starting block uh, and then a wood structure. As soon as you place that one, start building, the um, Xerox troops will be called to your base. It's basically, as soon as you turn it on or have spent enough time with it. So let's just say we've done that. Power the base. Okay, now we've got the option for solo mission, uh, Polaris, Talon mission, Xerax. Um, we could befriend the Talon first, that might be a better option. So if we go for pest control, uh, kill, uh, um, kill um, I think it was 10 pre predators. So let's activate that, let's go. Yep, ten, uh, 10 predators, it doesn't matter if it's on their land or not. Personally, I would recommend doing it on their land, because that way not only do you get more XP, but you also befriend them a lot quicker. So let's uh, go to first person and uh, drop down the, the view of the ship. So Alt, and which button was it? It's the page down key. So now we can actually see in front. Hold again to stop doing it. Okay. So there's no weapons on here whatsoever, and uh, we can flip over if we're in the capital. Um, which direction was the talent they are to our rear? Okay, come on. Ugh. Okay. We're on the sides. So if you hit uh, uh, shift, it basically puts you back right side up. Okay, I think it's that way. Nope. 
a little bit more of this way. Okay, so to raise from the ground a bit further, you hit uh, the jump key, and for some reason we're now very much face down. Okay, so where is the Talon? Now the nicety about the pest control one, it does come back every hour. So every hour that you spend uh, in game, it uh, basically resets the timer on uh, on that mission, so you can do it over and over again. Uh, and it's basically the best way to uh, befriend the Talon. Now, what we want to do is make sure that we don't take the vessel into the territory, because then they will start getting hostile. Not that far from it. It seems that having the uh, cockpit overhanging that uh, first thruster was not very good. Okay. So if we put a marker down here uh, and do that so it doesn't disappear on approach, we now know where the edge of the Talon territory is. So hopefully we don't fly into it. Come on up. Up, come on, further. Now, best best way to get the most XP and most plus points with the Talon is by shooting um, all the nasty creatures. Oh, there's the Polaris right there. So if we set the wave point there and remove this wave point. Um, we can basically park in between both of them, but ideally we'd want to have an area that's uh, got lots of water in it, uh, so that way we get the um, uh, the creatures that like to spawn in the water a bit, or near the water. I've forgotten what their actual name is. Uh, oops, that's a bit high. Oh, Triceratops. Come on, up. Up. Ooh. Oh, don't roll. We don't want to get sick. Okay, we are about there. Yeah, right back in between. So if we park this thing here. Now, seeing that we've got uh, 743 minutes worth of fuel in here, we don't have to worry about uh, leaving the, f uh, the fuel on. But one thing I do tend to... Uh, whoop, I don't. What did I hit that stopped it from uh, staying? I've hit a button. What button did I hit? We've got some spiders. Okay, now let's just turn it off and get out. Come on, before the spiders get to us. Where is it? Okay, so what we need to do is find an area that's got water and then look for the. Oh, well, we've killed the spider already, but. It's not in that side that the ter sorry, territory. Oop, and I hear another one right behind us. So let's go into that territory, then kill the spider. Oop, one of those. Great, I don't have a jetpack yet. I should have done this later. When we finally got the suit, that's when I should have done it. Screw it. Okay, so we're currently in Polaris territory. Um, so we've gone a little bit off course. We want to go 
bit more that way. Uh, that was not a bug. Not a normal bug. A uh, spider heading towards our right. Come on, where is the territory? It's getting a bit colder around here as well. Come on, we should be there now. There we go, Talon territory. Bit far out. Broken leg, not good. <sighs> Okay, now we need to find some uh, predators. So we might as well do this piece as a time lapse then. Hopefully there's some water not too far away.
there we go and that's basically the best way to do it because you get more xp you get more friendliness from them uh basically more friendly points and at the end of it you get a massive uh amount of friendly points and you get gold gold sorry gold coins as well uh and by hunting these creatures you get milk you get meat um and what you can do with the next part of the um missions uh if we go into f1 there is one that says uh talents past uh during that point there's going to be one way we can trade with a trader so let's do let's go and during that point basically um i see monument monument we'll go monument way over there um yeah so during that point uh you can basically trade with a trader and get more money uh he buys primarily uh sprouts um a couple food types not that many food types but primarily sprouts uh bandages and milk uh basically buys a lot of milk um for the for um uh what's it called for cash and you can trade that cash for other things um for any faction so that's quite handy so at the moment we're going to hop our way down to the monument and get the next part of the next mission going now i'm not completely sure how far we are currently uh, time wise so i would say we've we've probably wait gone way over the limit so i'm going to call the episode there and then we can continue the second mission uh in the next episode so if you've liked what you've seen so far please leave a like if you didn't please let me know why also if you're not subscribed sorry subscribed already please hit the subscribe button to help the channel grow thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time bye for now